Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking about three signs that God may be calling you to fast. thing I want to say off the bat is that fasting is not dieting okay so if you want to have a true understanding of what fasting means according to the Bible then download my free fasting guide in this description box so that you can read more about it and learn more about it so we're gonna be talking about biblical fasting in this video so the first sign that God may be calling you to fast is if you're seeking deliverance in a specific area but you keep hitting a wall and you're unable to become free from that thing so for example say you struggle with lust right and temptation and maybe you keep you know falling into the temptation you keep having sex whatever it is if you're struggling in this area and you've tried whatever you can try you've tried praying you've tried going to a deliverance session to be delivered from the spirit of lust you've tried everything that you can but you can't get these lustful thoughts out of your mind and it seems like there is this spirit that has a strong hold on you Right? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So that goes to show that there are specific spirits, there are specific demons that actually don't come out unless you pray them out and you fast them out, okay? And you have to be a little more aggressive with these spirits. So not everything can just be dealt with, you know, by just saying, oh, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Some things in the spirit realm are harder to wrestle with and they require prayer and fasting. So if you feel like you've been wrestling with something and it, you just, you know, you're just hitting a wall and there's no breakthrough, maybe God is calling you to fast in that area so that you can be delivered from that thing. All right, so that's the first sign that God may be calling you to fast is if you're trying to break free from something that is causing you to fall into sin it's causing you to fall into temptation but there is an extreme stronghold there that needs to be broken and if you're struggling with lust if you're struggling with that specific situation um, I actually have free scripture cards to fight temptation that is also available in the description box as well. So you can use these scripture cards whenever a tempting thought, you know, comes into your mind or anything like that. You want to recite these scriptures throughout the day and keep them with you. So this will really help you to fight those smaller battles. All right. But sometimes, you know, when you're facing a certain spirit, this greater battle needs to be fought through prayer and fasting. Number two. So the second reason why God may be calling you to fast is maybe your leader has called a corporate fast all right so um, this is very important especially you know if you are a believer who you do what the Bible says where it says you know do not forsake the assembling of believers so maybe you belong to a corporate body a church and the leader has called a corporate fast it's important to submit to that leader and partake in the fast as God leads you. Um, it's important to know that leaders are led by God. God chooses leaders and they pray over your soul, right? They pray so that you can be growing spiritually. They're covering you in prayer all the time. So when God is leading a leader, to you know proclaim a fast over a body then it's important that those who are involved in that body in that community um, submit to that and participate so if you're at a church if you're a part of a ministry and they're calling a corporate fast this could be a sign that god wants you to be a part of this fast especially if he has led you to be a part of this community i personally have done corporate fast for those of you guys who are part of my youtube community right i'm not a pastor or anything like that but i do feel some sense of responsibility as a christian content creator here on youtube and i do pray for you guys a lot in my prayer time i pray for my subscribers i pray for my followers. I ask God to show me how I can help you guys grow spiritually, help you guys grow in your faith. And when he tells me to call a corporate fast and invite people to join in, I'm obedient and I do just that. So 
Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I just launched a new book called Fruit Fast. And if you want to learn more about it and if you want to join our next corporate fast for the Fruit Fast, I have them every now and then. Um, then you can visit caroline.com slash fruit fast. And there's so many examples in the Bible of leaders who called corporate fast, all right? So remember Jonah, right? And remember how God sent him to Nineveh to tell the people of Nineveh to repent because it was a wicked nation, right? These people were wicked. Um, they didn't live for God. They were just living in sin. And Jonah told them to repent or God would destroy you know, Nineveh and the king, the word got back to the king of Nineveh of this warning. And he called everyone in Nineveh to go on a corporate fast. And then, you know, they fasted together. The king, he's the leader. He called it and they all submitted to that. And they were in sackcloth and ashes and they were fasting and they repented and God spared you know, Nineveh, because they decided to fast, because they submitted to the order of the king, because they submitted to Jonah's warning, then they were spared. There's also an example in Ezra. It says in Ezra chapter 8, verse 21, there by the Ahava Canal, I proclaimed a fast so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask him for a safe journey for us and our children with all our possessions. So there are many times in scripture where there's a spiritual leader or even a natural leader where a corporate fast is proclaimed. And when the people submit to that, God is able to heal their land. It says in the Bible, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. So it's very important that we are sensitive to God speaking when he's calling us to do a personal fast, but we're also in submission and obedience when he's calling a corporate fast to take place as well. And then the third reason why God may be calling you to fast is if you feel like this drawing back to God, if you feel this deep desire to draw closer to him and know him more, know that God gave you that desire. It is by God that we are saved. It is by his grace that we are saved. And it is even by him that we desire to know him more. The Bible says that he draws men unto repentance through and by his love. So if God's love is leading you to know him more and to grow in a relationship with him and you feel that this desire is growing within you, that is God calling you from within to draw closer to him. And fasting is a beautiful way to grow in intimacy with God, to grow closer with God, to grow spiritually. And Joel chapter 2 verse 12 says, Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. So don't ignore those promptings. Don't ignore when God is drawing you in, when he's calling you in. If you desire to have a closer and more intimate relationship with God, then listen to that. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit that is drawing you back to him. Follow the leading of God and pursue him. And I'm telling you, it is going to change your life. It's going to be an amazing experience and you will never be the same. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Up. And if it's your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe. Take advantage of all the free resources that I have in the description box. I hope that they're a blessing to you. I hope that they help you. And if you want to join us at our next corporate fruit fast, like I said, visit caroline.com slash fruit fast. All right. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time. Bye. Purchase the fruit fast today and grow in the fruits and gifts of God's spirit. This video book features recipes, audio recordings, exclusive downloads, and access to the private Fruit Fast community. Even better, the signature bundle includes an official signed copy of the book, plus access to the Fruit Fast video book and community. For a limited time only, get the signature bundle valued at $75 for only $44.99. Now available on Amazon and Caroline.com.